what made you want to go and help others? Because we are now digging, uh, getting into the topic about your active citizenship. I mean, it's rewarding uh, to to get the appreciation, to see that it really helps other people. Mm -hmm. Flattering, maybe, uh, but it's uh, a motivator. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't really have a, a well-defined reason for why I'm doing it. it. Just feels good to help people. <laughs> Is this part of the reason for changing from technology and entrepreneurship towards using your knowledge to help others like the society in general because this is what you're currently doing you're mm -hmm. expert in the uh, in the uh, the commission for digitalization in the parliament well i i wouldn't say changing it's uh, it's complementary uh it's applying what i already know in one field mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to others uh but yeah this general will to to make things better not just for myself uh, because in the IT sector uh, in Bulgaria, you can do very good for yourself by just working there. Uh, but that kind of is, I feel that it's not enough. I don't know if uh, that's a good enough driver, but that's the way I think about it. Okay. Applying your knowledge and experience through. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the sort of legislation, uh, public sector improvement, etc. It's it's so much in need of uh, someone knowing the details, the technological details, and not only. I mean the, the general life cycle of building software, uh, because in the end, yeah, it's legislation, it's norms, it's uh, contact with people, but it boils down to having the right tools and having the ability to build those tools. Uh, and the governments all over the world, not just Bulgaria, has failed to do that. It's a very complex topic, but knowing the technical details of how something can work and should work helps a lot. And if you're just as passionate about innovation as we are, hit subscribe for the Recursive Podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. We're everywhere.